The European Union has one of the largest fleets of fishing vessels operating all over the world. Much of this fishing occurs in the waters of developing coastal states in the Indian and Pacific Oceans and off the coasts of East and West Africa. These regions host some of the world's most vulnerable communities, which rely heavily on the ocean's resources for both food and income. Illegal fishing and overfishing can have significant negative impacts on these livelihoods. Given the scale and reach of the EU's fishing activities abroad, it is essential that these operations are carried out legally and sustainably. In recent years, the EU has introduced tighter laws to achieve legal and sustainable world fisheries at a time of mounting threats to marine biodiversity and food security. In 2010, the EU adopted a regulation against illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing to ensure that the EU's imports of fish are subject to strict controls. A later reform of the Common Fisheries Policy in 2014 ensures that EU fishing vessels meet high standards for sustainability and transparency. Now the rules governing the EU's external fishing fleet are being revised and must be aligned with these objectives. It is essential that 1. Vessels must only be authorised to fish outside the EU if they have a unique vessel identifier granted by the International Maritime Organization to allow for vessels' history and fishing activities to be tracked effectively, as well as a clean record of compliance. 2. All fishing activities by EU operators must meet the same high standards, regardless of where in the world they are carried out and under what type of agreement. The European Commission must be able to intervene where standards are not met. 3. All vessels carrying EU flags must show proof of legal and sustainable fishing while they have been operating under non-EU flags. This is to deter so-called abusive reflagging, where a vessel exits the EU flag to exploit lax rules elsewhere. Currently, EU vessels can reflag to the EU despite a poor track record of sustainable legal fishing. 4. A public database must be established of all EU vessels authorised to fish outside EU waters, including private and chartering agreements. Currently, no public record of these authorisations is available, which undermines transparency for EU consumers. The EU must take action today and fly the flag for sustainable, legal and transparent fishing. Help make this happen. Learn more at www.whofishesfar.org.